Hi, welcome back everyone. Today is the 20th of February 2021 and the market has closed and today is a Saturday. So yesterday there is a lot of option that is expiring in my portfolio. So I will just briefly go through some of them. Like Apple, I'm long the stock. I'm being assigned, but I did not sell any covered call because the price went down. So probably next week, I will start selling some covered call on Apple. And then AMD, I'm being assigned at a 92 strike because a 92 put has been in the money. And right now, AMD is currently at 89.51. So I have a small loss on AMD. There's no issue. Blink trade expire worthless and FSR. I do a covered call on FSR. I will continue to do the covered call next week for FSR and football trade expire worthless. IPOE expire worthless. New. I have double wheel. So the call option on the new has expire worthless. So I will continue to sell call next week. And the put option will expire next Friday. So that will leave it alone. And NNDM, the put trade expire worthless. In fact, NNDM was a very good trade to me because uh, I managed to sell the 10 put for $1.78 for two contract. So that is about $350. And for a 10 put, I can sell it for $1.78. That is about 17 to 18% return on this trade. And next week, I will see what to do with it because the NNDM has moved up. So right now it's about $14. I will see what to do. And open trade expire worthless. And unity trade also expire worthless. UAVS, I did a covered call trade on this. And right now I'm losing a bit of money because I long the stock at 11.57. I shot a 15 call at $1.06, so minus off and taking the current price into consideration. I'm down a little bit, but no issue. I will continue to sell a call for UAVS and the wolf trade expire worthless. So. Let's look at the summary of the trade that expired this week. So AMD, I'm being assigned. So I take a loss of $82. But actually that is fine because I wanted to long the AMD stock three weeks ago. But my average price for AMD is actually pretty low. So AMD, if you look at the current position right now, then I have a loss of $82 and I'll be selling call on it next week. And then we have all these trade that is a weekly option that expire worthless. And then for the monthly option, we have all these trade that expire worthless today, yesterday. Then the UAVS covered call, I have a loss of $19 this week. I will continue to sell the covered call for UAVS. So my total profit, if you add up and minus off the two losses, I have a profit of 1,224. I think this is fantastic. Of course, this is not in a week because I have this option that is monthly option. So these are not made in a week. Only this few trade is a weekly option. So I get the profit within a week for this few stock. But for this few stock, I need a few weeks because these are monthly option. But in total, what has expired yesterday is $1,224 minus of the losses. So if I don't take the losses into consideration, it should be about 1003 or 1004 so my next week, this is the plan for my next week. I'm going to look to sell a call 
for this few stock because I own Apple, I own FSR, I own UAVS and I own new currently. So I'll continue to sell call. And FUBO, I most likely will look to sell a put option again. And then for the monthly option, these are the stock that is in my watch list. But there's no hurry for monthly option. Because if I don't do it next week, I can always do it another week. Because these are monthly option. So depend on how the market open up. If the market open down, then that's good. Then I'll be looking to sell put option on all this stock. If the market open up, then I'll be looking to sell call option on the stock that I own. So let's see what the market will do next week. And this is another great week for me. I hope you too. But in fact, this week, the market has been coming down and there's a lot of stock that is dropping. And I thought it may be a sign on a couple of stock. But I didn't. And only AMD, I'm being assigned. Because stock like Unity has come pretty close to my strike. And Blink actually has come pretty close to my strike. I didn't roll all these options because I'm prepared to take the stock. But if I wanted, I can actually roll the option to another week. But since I didn't roll and the option expire, then next week, I will be looking to sell put at a further strike. And then start to collect premium again. And for PLTR and Peloton, because they are expiring next week, so I will update these two trades. When we get to next week. So I thank everyone for staying throughout the video. And if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and share the video. Thank you.